Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monique and today I'm going to do a tag video that's been around for a little bit and uh, I have my notebook here just for reference for the questions um, but I will list the questions um, on the video and yeah, this tag is the best, the worst and the most dramatic luxury tag uh, that was started by Lydia Ellis Millen, I think that's her name. She has an amazing YouTube channel. She has an amazing style and she started this tag and it's been around for quite some time and I love a tag video because it's just fun. I love watching them and I love making them. So yeah, let's get, um, let's get with it because there are quite a few questions here. So the first question is, okay, so the first question is how many handbags do you have? I had to sit down and do a count of all my bags and this is not including the clutches and the small like um, push it assist one and all that. Uh, so I do have a total of 16 bags which I am not so keen on when I realize that I do have 16 bags and I think that's a little bit too many and I'm trying to try to see ones that I would like to sell because I think Somewhere between 10 to 15 is an ideal number. More than that is just way too many. Okay, so how do I organize and store my handbags? I live in New York City where apartments are really, really tiny, but I'm lucky enough to have two huge closets. They're literally huge. You can walk into them. Um, so some of them is on a shelf in the closet. I'll probably like insert a clip here so you can see and the rest are just all around the apartment on the shelf on a bookshelf so it's just literally using them as decoration so that's how I store my bag so most of them are in their dust bags but I have some that are outside and um, just as a decoration so yeah what was your first handbag purchase? My first, um, I can't think of my first handbag purchase ever. Um, literally can't think that, but it was probably a Nine West bag or something like that. But I do remember my first luxury handbag purchase, which is this. Um, I featured this in one of the videos before. And this is my Louis Vuitton epi leather in red uh, alma i think it's the pm size i love it it's so ladylike and i love the color okay what is your newest handbag my newest handbag is my gucci lady web in the size medium with canvas and leather trim i just love this i just got this recently uh, I scored on it because I purchased it from the Gucci outlet and I just love how classy and how, but at the same time, how fun the bag is. All right. What is your most expensive handbag? Without a doubt, my most expensive handbag is my Chanel medium double flap in caviar leather with uh, gold hardware. I did purchase this uh, pre-owned I don't know if it's pre-owned or not, but yeah, I would say pre-owned from Fashion File. Uh, they had everything and it's literally in almost new condition. I didn't see any flaw and this was, per you know, this was produced in 2015 and um, it was priced at a very high price still. Um, like new one is 4900 and it was priced 40, almost 4600 and I sold a bag to get this and I sold a few from uh, so I did an exchange in fashion file but I also did sold two other bags outside fashion file to score this so yeah this is my most expensive handbag without a doubt even after selling a few bags because if I didn't sell them I wouldn't even buy them but yeah this is in amazing amazing condition like even the chain is still super squishy. It's super squishy and still super stiff. Okay. 
and what what was your most dramatic handbag buying experience uh, this is the same answer as the one before is the chanel medium double flap not because of the price well kind of because of the price but also i bought it from fashion file and i chose ground shipping uh, which is free and there was some under misunderstanding also with fashion file but it was resolved they were like saying like oh you sh you you have to pay shipping before we ship it to you but i'm like i chose ground shipping which is free so that was resolved and then they shipped it all the way from california to here which takes like seven days i don't ever want to do ground shipping ever again on a chanel bag or any bag it for that matter and uh, the thing is you can't change the method of shipping that you have chosen and what's the the dramatic part of the story is that fedex ground managed to lose my bag so i kept on looking at the tracking to make sure you know where is it where is it where is it you know and then the last tracking that i could find was like there were two days late first of all because it was around valentine's day which i was like oh maybe it's valentine's day it was busy and the last one was like February 14. It arrived at the Brooklyn um, location and it was in the truck to go out for delivery. But I didn't get it on February 14 and it wasn't here on February 15. So I called the FedEx ground, uh, you know, they couldn't even locate it because apparently the guy, the delivery guy, uh, sent, you know, give it to his helper so apparently fedex delivery guys have helpers uh that help them uh deliver all these packages to buildings so it, not only that fedex have to get in touch with the driver of the truck the main guy and then th the main guy has to get in touch with that helper that helps him deliver these packages it was just like a whole hoo-ha nobody knows where it is because the tracking stop at the truck so it, it says that it's in the truck out for delivery but it hasn't been delivered at all for two days so something must be wrong and what happened was like my doorman had to track it down uh so he knows this guy the helper guy who comes to the building every day to deliver fedex packages so he asked about it what happened was that this guy made a mistake and left my package in another building left it there so luckily my doorman has like numbers of all like the buildings around us and was able to track it down and it was there and delivered safely to me two days later and it was just such a rack because first of all it's my most expensive handbag ever and fedex managed to like lost it and they're like oh you could put a claim on it i'm like i don't want to put a claim on it this is not something this is not like something that I could just like buy again the same the same exact one you know what I mean it's like unique in its own way it's produced like and this like I love the leather of this the caviar on this bag I love everything about it I love the almost new condition I, I love that I get everything it's not like you can just like buy it again plus filing a claim will take me like I don't know forever to get my money back so but it was dramatic but my doorman save the day love him all right <laughs> and my current favorite handbag store i think that's the next question uh my favorite favorite handbag store is of course always chanel but lately i've been going into gucci for a few times just because i love the new designs alexander mccalley is doing a fabulous job and even the store design is amazing and every time I go into their stores, they've always been nothing but the nicest people. And they've never pushed any sales on you. They've never tried to sell anything to you. They would be more than happy to show you any bags that you want. They give you time. They don't, you know, they don't stay close to you to like see if you want it, you know. Uh, so it's just been a great experience with them current favorite handbag how do you choose between all of your babies i don't even know um i mean 
I'm obligated to really love this bag, which I do. And it is my favorite, but also I feel like if I have to choose, I really, really, really love my mini. Like, amazing. So if I have to choose, I honestly really love my mini. This is uh, from Cruise 2017 and it's in the lambskin with silver hardware. The thing is when I wear this, it's Chanel. Everybody knows it's Chanel, but it is a little bit more subtle that it's not out there. You know, the two times that I've worn this, I feel like eyes were staring at me one older guy in central park was actually saying like that is a very expensive bag you shouldn't be wearing it out like that i'm like oh no and that's amazing but i feel like it attracts sometimes unwanted attention <laughs> so i would have to go with this one just because it's so adorable it's so cute it's so soft it's so beautiful and it is great for every day Except for the size. <laughs> okay. So, next question. My least favorite handbag is my Celine All Soft Tote in the color beige and black. I am in love with the bag. It is so beautiful and it is so comfortable. It's a shoulder bag. I'll try to insert a picture somewhere here. It's a shoulder bag and it's so comfortable when you wear it. But... The thing is, I don't really wear shoulder bags, you know, um, especially in the winter with, you know, your coat and everything, things just keep slipping off your shoulder. Um, it's, it's a big bag, but it's not big enough for my laptop. And I mean, it is big enough for my laptop, but it doesn't fit when I put it in the case. So I'm like, there's no point. Also, uh, I tend to carry like a lot of things to when I go to the store and all that. Sometimes I have another bag with me. So it's just not practical to not have a crossbody bag as one of the bags that I carry. So I don't really carry that bag as much as I love it. But I hang on to it because it's such a beautiful bag and I don't want to lose like money selling it. But I think I really, really have to let it go because it just doesn't work for me. You know, uh, I mean... I probably wore it like three to five times in the past, like a year that I have it. So it's just not good. Okay, my next handbag purchase is um, I'm actually waiting for my Chanel Medium Double Flap in Caviar Leather Beige, which is coming soon within a week or so. So that is my next one and I'm pretty excited about that. What is my dream handbag? Well, my Chanel Black uh, Caviar in Medium is my dream handbag. And I'm so, so thankful and happy that I, I have it in my collection. Um, so I'm pretty happy about what I have right now. There are a few things that I do want, um, which I will probably do my luxury wish list video about the things the, the feedbacks that I want in my collection but if I have to choose my dream dream handbag from now which um, I would be more than happy to have one day is the Hermes Kelly in the size 28 and in the color black with silver palladium hardware so that would be my dream dream handbag if I, if, if I can't have it in black I would ha happy to have it in red or in maybe gold color so like the beige gold color so yeah that's my dream handbag and yeah I think I'm done with the question part of the day guys and yeah that is my tag thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click subscribe if you like this video or this kind of video and don't forget to click like as well I would really really appreciate it and I would like to tag all of you out there who want to do this tag please do it's fun and you know I, I love watching them so the more people you know doing this video the more videos I can watch so that is really really fun and thank you so much for watching and have a great day bye